Hi, this is David and thanks for checking out this video. With this video, we had a, a pregnant mom come in and she wanted to do some, uh, basically some sort of more artful nudes. And what we um, what we talked about in advance is she was concerned about some of the weight she'd put on in her, her lower back, her hips and uh, her legs. So she basically wanted the sort of the curve brought back and her bottom tightened up with her legs and just kind of thinned out a little bit. So generally what we'll do, um, we typically won't do this without talking to the client first. Um, we always make sure that that's what they're asking for. Um, we go to the background later and just do a command J to copy that and then come up to liquify. So we're going to go to filter and liquify. And with this, with, with what we're going to work in with here is we're going to actually work with two different tools. The first tool is going to be the forward warp tool and then the second tool is the pucker tool which is found right here. So with the forward warp tool, what I want to do is, is sort of bring the curve back in her back. So I'm going to go ahead and increase a brush size a little bit so it uh, sort of fits what I'm working with a little better. And what I want to do is I don't want to put the crosshairs right in this area here because if I do that, the, it, it, it's real dramatic how it makes the, the changes. So we don't want to do that. Um, now if you make a mistake, you can always do an option command Z to, to do a to sort of step back one. Uh, but basically what we're going to do is work with the edge of the circle, um, bring it out a little bit, click, hold down, and then just kind of push in and it makes a much more gradual gradual nudge is what we're shooting for. Um, in here we basically want to kind of thin this area out through here and we want to keep the line of the belly. We don't want to change that too much. So I'm going to go ahead and click and then just kind of push down a little bit. And then we can kind of come in and kind of nudge the leg back down. Um, in here we want to basically bring her bottom and her the bottom, back part of her leg up. So what we're going to do is try and maintain this leg without making this distort. So we're going to basically follow that line and just kind of push up. Because we don't want to distort the, the leg that's on her on her the back side there. And by doing that, I'm going to go ahead and grab a smaller brush here and then kind of zoom in here on this area and just kind of smooth this out so it's a little nicer transition. So that's looking pretty good there so far. We can come up here now and grab the pucker tool and basically pick an area um, that you want to sort of uh, squeeze in a little, even a little bit more. So just kind of bring it in and you just do like a little click and it just sort of tightens it up just a little bit more. So you can kind of come in here and click just a little bit and it kind of will just pull it together just here and there. So I'm going to go with that. That looks roughly what we had talked about with her and how the finished image looked for her before. So I'm going to sort of click OK and, and make that adjustment. And you can see what we've done already. It's quite a bit without distorting the, the, the belly and things like that. Um, now at this point, um, we typically will not light these super contrasty to start with because we can always add the contrast later in Photoshop and sort of paint in what we want to do. So um, the trick though is if we want to darken this image up, if we typically come down to the adjustment layers, which is a little yin yang sign down here, we could always come down here and add contrast. Um, but the problem if you do it this way is when you add contrast, it also changes the color of the image and makes it sort of orangey and things like that, which aren't natural. So I'm going to go ahead and delete out of that and show you a different way to, to go about this. What we're going to do is we're working on this layer. We're going to go ahead and create a new layer with a create a new layer icon down here at the bottom of the layers palette. I'm going to come up here to edit and fill and I'm going to fill that with black. Um, at this point what I'm going to do is grab my opacity and pull that back and you can see how it's starting to darken the image up. Um, it still allows you to see through. What you can do now is basically add a layer mask to this image by hitting this little sign down here and we're going to grab our brush tool which is up here or we can hit B for brush and we want to since we want to knock out some of this area we want to paint in black over the white mask white white conceals and black reveals so what we want to do is use the black we're going to toggle back and forth using the X key so we're going to go to that go to the, the black and then basically we can come in here and paint and just kind of bring some light back in the areas that we want to have the most attention And basically all you're doing is just painting in areas. And if you make a mistake, you can always come back in here, toggle back to the white with the X, 
change the opacity if you need to, and you can just kind of bring in the shadow areas back again. So I'm just kind of toggling back and forth and re-sculpting with the with the image here. And at this point, what we can do is to add just a little bit more contrast. We can come down to the, the adjustment layers palette and then go to levels at this point, And we can just kind of pull those up and darken that up a little bit more at this point. And it doesn't shift the colors uh, as badly. So um, normally, this is kind of what we'll do. Um, at this point, I do like these better in black and white. So what I'm going to do is come down to the adjustment layers again, hit hue saturation, and just basically pull the saturation out of there. And I would probably, with a black and white, I would actually add a little more contrast by going back to levels and doing another adjustment layer and just popping those blacks out a little bit more. And then at this point, we can go in here and kind of re-sculpt again and just kind of add some of the, the tones back in. And saving it this way allows you basically to, to make any adjustments along the way you'd like to. Um, so if you save this as a PSD file and close it out, you can always open it up and pull it back out and then go back to the color version if you want. Um, pretty much any adjustments at that point that you'd like to make, um, you can do. So it's just one of those, those things that allows you to complete control. And that's what's always nice in Photoshop is when you can keep that control so that if you ever need to go back and make the, those adjustments that you'd like to make. Uh, so hopefully this video has helped you out a little bit. If you have any questions, please comment. And if you have a like what you see, please subscribe. Thanks so much.